こんにちは、こんにちは、ふみかさん。はい。I thought I, I might as、um, well introduce some Rakugo stories once in a while. Yes, I'm very excited. Yeah, yeah. Because、yeah. you are a Rakugoka, and <laughs> I always love your English versions of yeah, yeah. your stories. So. so, new story. Okay. For this time. It's called Oyama Mai.、Mm-hmm. Um, Did, did we introduce that name?、Mm, I've never heard it. No? You've no? never told me the story okay, before. Okay, yeah, I learned you were it talking very, about... very recently. You learned it very recently? Yeah, yeah, I learned the story. I, I had known the story. Okay, okay, you knew it.、Oh, okay, okay. From before. <laughs> But I, I didn't feel like I wanted to do that story. And maybe you will find out later、um, why. Why? Okay. Yeah. But、uh, this story is about traveling in the old days.、Mm-hmm. And. and Did you know that、uh, just traveling for sightseeing was, was prohibited during the Edo era? No, I didn't know. Yeah.、Uh, you couldn't、so、go on vacation to a different you, place? You couldn't. It's, it's a new tradition being able to travel around, do sightseeing. Wow. Yeah. And、uh, the only way you could go on a sightseeing trip was to combine it with a religious visit to a shrine or a temple.、Oh, okay. So maybe, you know, people would be going, Oise Mairi. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm.、Um, and, and then, if they had per- that purpose,、mm-hmm. on their way, they could enjoy sightseeing. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually really shocked、Why? about Why? that. Just because、yeah. like, you don't have the freedom to visit other places、no. and like, take in other cultures or like, you know, just enjoy、no. other places. I'm, so、yeah. we're really just privileged being, right yeah, now. Yeah, we are. We are.、Yeah. Okay. Just being able to move around、mm-hmm. was, was not very、um, welcome during、okay. those days、okay. because they could. They could、uh, You, you weren't allowed to move on, you know,、uh, freely、mm-hmm. okay. as well. So, and Oyama is in Kanagawa.、Mm-hmm. Uh, it's in Isehara City. So, it's fairly close from Edo. And、uh, so, maybe you, it takes about two days, two days to go to Oyama from Edo, basically,、mm-hmm. by Waki, right?、Mm-hmm. Two or three days. And so. But nowadays, it, it would be now, obviously shorter. Nowadays, it's, it's like, you know, 40 minutes. By train. Yeah. Okay. So,、um, And, and then, so that was a good destination. If you say you're going to the,、uh, there's a big shrine called Oyama Afuri Shrine、mm-hmm. um, in Oyama. And、uh, if you say you're going to that shrine for a religious visit, then you can enjoy your trip.、Mm-hmm. And the guys, on, but it was only the guys who were able to travel. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the wives had to stay. Okay. And the husbands. They were excited. Once in a year event. Okay? Okay. So they were like, okay, let's go to the mountain.、Mm-hmm. And go to the mountain means just、uh, having fun,、mm-hmm. traveling. Mm-hmm. Again, so it's kind of like more than the religious part, it's more about. The religious part was sort of like an excuse ah, okay, 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 for okay, having okay. fun. Okay. And especially <laughs> after they go to the shrine and then they go down the mountain,、mm-hmm. on their way back, they take a different path、mm-hmm. and、uh, like visit the pleasure quarters and like. To, Party、mm-hmm. around、mm-hmm. and you know, the fun <laughs> stuff is、mm-hmm. waiting after、okay. the shrine.、Okay. Basically, so, so this is a、um, story about that.、Mm-hmm. Um, and a bunch of guys go to the Oyama shrine and they're all looking forward to this trip. But, but this year,、um, the, the leader called Sendatsu, Sendatsu-san is like the le- leader, the tour guide, the supervisor for the trip、mm-hmm. for, the, for the town.、Mm-hmm. You know. And so he calls Kuma-san, they come here. And, and he's talking to Kuma san, okay, you have to stay during the trip this year.、Uh, you have to stay home.、Mm-hmm. Kuma san was like, why? I've been looking forward to this trip for an entire year.、Mm-hmm. How can you say that to me? Well, you always cause trouble. You get in a fight every year、uh, with somebody. And that somebody changes, but, but you stay the same.、Mm-hmm. You are always the cause of the fight.、Mm-hmm. So I,、uh, I don't want any troubles this year, so I want you to stay. Come on. I, let, let me go. I mean, you can't do that to me. I promise I won't fight. Okay? I, I promise I will not get in a fight. Well, you always promise. But you break it. Once we go to Oyama, you forget it. No, no, I'm not taking it. Please, please, please. This is a real promise. A promise between a man and a man. Okay? So please, please take me. I will not get in a fight. I will not. Listen, I will not get in a fight. <laughs> I said I won't get in a fight. <laughs> He's getting see, mad. See, that's, yeah, that's you, okay?、Mm-hmm. You always lose your temper.、Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. J- j- just uh, uh, please, please, okay? I-, I will keep my promise. And then the, the leader says, okay, well, if you're going to say that, then let's make a couple of rules, okay? And this is not just for you, but for everybody.、Um, 
If you lose your temper during the trip, then we're gonna take half a dio from you. Half a dio is penalty. A dio, yeah, is about a hundred thousand yen. So half a dio is fifty thousand yen, which is a large amount. And mm-hmm. Kumasan says, okay. And if you actually get in a fight and hit someone, you're gonna he- get your head shaved. How's that? All right. Well, um, yeah. I mean, my 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 hair. So they they had mage, mm-hmm. like a sumo wrestler, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And and the guys in Edo um, had pride in the mage, so they they grew their hair very long, right? And, and then they would shave certain parts and then you know combine it here, tie it at the top, and and the shape and stuff. So so they were they were very proud of their mage, the mm-hmm. hairstyle, and to get it shaven was a big disgrace. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah. it was like. A major punishment mm-hmm. compared to even nowadays. You know, you, you could shave your head, but uh, that's not such of a big deal mm-hmm. compared to them. Mm-hmm. But uh, Kumasan says, "Okay, well, if if I know my he- he- head's getting shaven, then I'm I'm definitely go- not gonna get in a fight. Mm-hmm. So so trust me. Okay, I'll be I'll be peaceful <laughs> and calm. All right, let's go." And they go, mm-hmm. and they do the shrine um, visit, and it goes safely. And then on their way back, the party, and on the final night, they had a lot of drinks. And you know, when you think it's a final night, you go, you go mm-hmm. beyond, mm-hmm. The, a, a bit out of control. Mm-hmm. And some of the guys come like, oh, hey, Sendatsa, the supervisor, Sendatsa, it's a big tr- trouble. Um, there's a fight in in the bath. Kuma's mm-hmm. like, Kuma's in a fight, mm-hmm. and he, he's just so violent. I got hit by him. And uh, so I, I, I did get in a fight, but I didn't hit him. So I'll pay my half a deal, but, but he has to get his head shaved. And the supervisor is like, uh, no, no, let's, let's not you know, be too rough mm-hmm. because you never know what he's gonna do after that kind of thing, okay? So, so uh, leave it to me. I'll, I'll talk to him and I'll make him apologize to you um, in front of everybody when he gets sober, okay? So just so just leave it to me, and uh, uh, you you go to sleep. But the guy, the two guys who got in a fight with uh, Kuma, they got beaten badly, and they they aren't satisfied. Mm-hmm. So they're like, okay, well we're gonna do it. And then mm-hmm. so that night when Kuma's sleeping, he's like completely drunk. He's sleeping, snoring away. Those two guys go approach him. Uh, and they're like, hey, look at him, he's, he's deep asleep. All right, give me the razor. And they had the razor. <gasps> and, okay, let's soak his uh, head with something. All right, he's got a uh, sake uh, by his pillow side. So let's, uh, let's soak his head. And then they're like, all right, here you go. Uh, look at him. And then he's completely, you know, bald. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have any oh. hair. Wow, that's great. He doesn't notice. Oh, I mean, he, he's gonna be surprised tomorrow morning. And then the night's over. Mm-hmm. The next day, um, everyone gets up, has breakfast, and then they go. And, and they leave Kumasan there. And uh, Kumasan's just forgotten. And then um, he's just sleeping. And, and the ladies at the inn, they're trying to clean the room, and then they find him. And, and they're like, wow, oh, there's a monk here. Wait, <laughs> but w- was there a monk last night? Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, no, I don't think so. Maybe he had a wig um, last night. Like, right, right, right. Oh, he's the one who was fighting um, violently yesterday. Oh, that's right. So he's a, he must be a terrible, violent monk. He's like a fallen monk. And to, to hide that, it was, he, he had a wig, but he lost it somewhere. And they wake him up, <laughs> and Kuma's like, oh, oh sorry, sorry, I got, I, I got drunk so much. And like, um, you look very different from last night. Yeah, yeah, maybe hangover. No, 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 no. You look, um, you look very fresh and uh, and and shiny. <laughs> like, what, what are you talking about? Uh-huh. Well, well, um, but uh, I must tell you, okay, if you're a monk, you should not drink that much. And Kuma's like, monk? I'm not a monk. Mm-hmm. Now, monks do not have hair, mm-hmm. whereas my monkey, this is cool. You know, look at this. Look at this. Huh? Mm. Oh no. Wait, whose head is this? It's yours, I think. Oh no, what? Where's my hair? And they're like, I, I, you, you probably left it downstairs. No, no, what are you talking about? <laughs> Where's my hair? Did I get in a fight? 
Yes, you did last night. Oh, I did. I drank so much I don't remember. So while I was sleeping, they probably shaved me. Oh man, they must be laughing. Are they downstairs? No, they already left. What? They already left? They left me here? I mean, shaving me is one thing, but leaving me here is something else. That's a big disgrace. Oh, I'm pissed off. I gotta get back at them. They have to pay back for this. What can I do? All right, I got a plan. Okay, call the kago. Kago is like, you know. Um, taxi? Yeah, the taxi, old style so, taxi. Uh -huh. Palanquin is the uh, word for kago. I, I have checked. So mm -hmm. palanquin, like people carrying mm -hmm, okay. yeah, car carriage stuff. And so call the palanquin. A real quick one. I'm going to go non-stop to Edo, beat all the, those guys to Edo. Okay. And I'm going to pay double for that. And bring uh, a piece of tenugui cloth so that I can wrap my head. He goes back mm -hmm. before everybody else. He, he passes them. And he goes back to his neighborhood and he, uh, he tells his wife, okay, I'm back. I'm the first one back. But I got a story to tell to everybody. So call all the wives. And they, they, they gather at Kumasan place. And Kumasan's like, they're like, oh, what, what's happened? Why are you the only one here? Mm -hmm. Okay, this, this is a story, okay? Just, I'm gonna talk to you about it. So hear me till the end and do not interrupt me. Wow, you're scaring us. Mm -hmm. Did something happen in Oyama? No, no, not in Oyama. After Oyama is the deal. We were staying at a place called Fujisawa and the next morning, um, one of the guys said, uh, Let, let's go sightseeing at uh, Kanazawa Hake. All right. And, and we went and, and it was a nice view. And then since it was a, a great weather, a bunch, bunch of guys started saying, let's get on a boat and go to the sea and just, just uh, enjoy it, boat riding. I said no, uh, because I didn't feel like it, but, but they insisted. So um, we asked the uh, boathouse uh, and uh, the boat guy said, please, let's not do that because the weather is too good. And when the weather is too good, it's, it's dangerous. Mm -hmm. And we're like, what are you saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, it, it's fine. It'll be fine. Just we're, we're going to pay double for this. Okay, so just uh, get the boat out. And we got on the boat and, and it was peaceful. And it was calm and nice weather, nice view. But then it changed. The wind got chilly and uh, the clouds started forming. And then before we knew it, it was dark all around. And we, held, we, we uh, felt some uh, raindrops. And then a couple of raindrops, the boat, boatman said, there's gonna be a thunderstorm. And right after that rain just came pouring and gusts of wind blowing at us and the waves were higher than the boat and we were just rocking back and forth and it was just hard to stand on the boat. So the last thing I remember, I held a plank of wood and I jumped into the sea and I don't remember after that. And then I don't know how long it uh, uh, time, but uh, after a while I, I woke up and I was lying down on the shore and a bunch of guys were looking at me, unfamiliar faces. When I opened my eyes, one of the guys said, you're lucky. The boat flipped over and you're the only one who made it to the shore. And I asked, what about the other guys? They all disappeared into the sea. You are the only lucky person. And I was so shocked. Like we were traveling together until a while ago and they're all gone now. I tried to jump into the sea, but then I thought to myself, I have to tell this story to all the wives. So that's why I came back. And that's the story I have. So your husbands will not be coming back home. And they're like, oh no, what? Oh no, that's terrible. And some of the, the, the older wives are saying, oh, he's, he's lying, he's always lying. So don't trust him, okay? He's a liar. And Kumasa says, okay, I may lie once in a while, but I don't lie about life and death, okay? To show you that this is the truth. Uh, I'll show you, okay? I came back with a plan. I'm going to divorce my wife and then afterwards, I'm going to be a monk and I'm going to pray for the spirits of my friends and look at what I did to my hair. And he's completely bald, right? And the ladies are, know that he's, he's confident. He, he's proud about his hair. Mm -hmm. So when they see his head completely shaven, they believe him. Mm -hmm. Oh no, that Kumasan shaved his mm -hmm. head. This must be true. Oh, so they're not coming back? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, and they're crying. Mm -hmm. And Kumasan is like, okay, I know how you feel, but, but you have to live on, okay? You have to keep on living. But if you are going to follow me and be 
a nun. I support you. I'll shave your head. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then maybe they'll be glad. Your husbands will be very glad. Uh -huh. And the wives are like, Do you, are, are you sure they're going to be um, happy about it? Yes, definitely. We, we even talked about it during our trip. Your husband said, if I die, I want my wife to be a nun. Mm -hmm. Really? He said that? Okay, well, please shave me. And everyone's like, please shave me, shave me, me too, me too, me too. And like, Kumasa shaves all the heads. And now, you know, they're all, all shav shaven. The wives. The wives. Oh my God, yeah. Okay. And, then, uh, and then he starts uh, doing the prayer. Now, mommy, Davos, now, mommy, Davos, now, mommy, Davos, now, mommy, and, and all, all the other wives are saying, now, mommy, Davos, now, mommy, Davos, now, mommy, Davos. And then at, around that time, the husband reached. They, they come back and they hear that uh, prayers. What's, what's going on here? And they look inside and see, well, that, that's got to be Kuma in the center. What, what is he doing? I mean, he, he's behind. He's supposed to be behind, but why is he here? And they recall, oh, there was a palanquin that, that passed us uh, midways. And, and the cover was down, though it was very hot. So he was hiding from us. Mm -hmm. And he came, he, he passed us and came back and somehow convinced all the wives to shave their heads and be nuns. What's going on? And they break in. And Kuma, what are you doing? And Kuma's like, um, oh, hey, you shouldn't get angry. You know, you have to pay half a deal for this. Hey, shut up. Well, well what's, what's the deal? And the wives are like, oh, no, no, no. Ghosts are already appearing. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I'm not a ghost. Look at my, I, I have feet. Mm -hmm. What? Well, Kuma-san told us that uh, you all disappeared into the sea. There was an accident. And you all died, and that's why we became nuns. What? So that was a lie? Hey, Kumasan, you lied. This is so embarrassing. And and the supervisor comes and like, Hey, Kuma, what have you done? I mean, I know you, that you're angry about your head, but you didn't have to do this to all the wives. I mean, they, they didn't do anything bad. Uh, and and the the lie you told was a terrible lie. And Kuma's like, Yeah, uh, maybe it was a terrible lie, but. Uh, can you do? I mean, they should have noticed that it was a lie. What? What are you saying? They should have noticed it was a lie? What do you mean? And the punchline is, well, I mean, can't you tell? It was such a bold lie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So that was the uh, punchline for the English version. Yeah, what's the Japanese version? The one? Japanese version is a pun. And like the supervisor, the sendatsu, comes and says, he looks at the, the situation and he's like, oh, this is meditai. And meditai is like, oh, this is a happy situation. Mm -hmm. And all the other guys are like, what are you talking about? It's not meditai. It's, it's not a happy situation. And the sendats is like, eh, oh, meditai, uh, oyama abuji. Uh, so our, our trip to the mountain was safe. Mm -hmm. And when we came back, minna, uh, oke ga nakute, meditai. So, okay, okay, ga, okay ga nai is like no injury and no hair. Uh huh. Uh, Playing words. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, ga nakute uh -huh. meretai. Or okay, ga nakute shiawase is the Japanese version. Um, and and it's, a, it's a pun. It's a simple pun. Mm -hmm. But I think the, the English version works better. It's a bold lie. It's like mm -hmm. apparent lie. A yeah, complete yeah. lie. But and he's all, everyone's bald. So, mm -hmm. is that mm -hmm. something you came up with, the punchline for the English version? Or yep. is that something so you yep. created it? Yep. Has this story been done in English before, like by someone else, or was it? I don't know? think so. I, not that I know of. Mm -hmm. so, um, uh, among the professional rock mm -hmm. performers, I think so. Uh, maybe the first one. Mm -hmm. mm. So why was it like a story that you didn't really do before? Because it's a it's a lie about life and death, uh, uh, and uh, okay. you okay, know yeah. some people you know um, care about that, uh, like okay. may feel bad about such mm -hmm. a lie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And especially um, after some incidents about sea, you know, uh, ship, shipwreck incidents, uh, you, you have those things, okay, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. The and so days. it's impossible to do this story uh -huh. after such incident. That's true, that's so true. So this is a difficult story. Okay. Um, yeah, the timing I and stuff. I see, I see. So, but the storyline itself mm -hmm. is um, interesting. It, yeah, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good that because in the beginning you know that Kumasan's a troublemaker. Yeah, so yeah. I mean, you know, you can kind of um, tell that he's probably telling a lie. And where is this going? Like, what's going to happen? Mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm, and then, mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. I, I guess it's just a situation of like the life and death, and like right. you just said. So yeah. I guess the audience know mm -hmm. 
everyone know that uh, it's it's a lie, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, Kumasan mm -hmm. is lying. So um, we, we're feeling safe. But then I, I guess mm. the idea of telling a lie about that kind of thing mm -hmm. is not appropriate. Mm -hmm. in, in that's true, that's true. And also the fact that in the beginning, maybe it's not relevant to the story, but mm -hmm. that women can't travel was <laughs> 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 something that's yes. like... Yes, yes. Uh, it, was, very... it was a, a fact. Yeah, too bad. Mm -hmm. Back too then, yeah. Back then. And I was thinking when I, when I did this story, you know, what would the wives be feeling um, when they see off their husbands? Like they, they know their husbands are, are going as an excuse to the shrine. Uh -huh. And then afterwards, they're going to enjoy themselves. So they know, so this is like a given fact, like you were saying earlier, that, you know, the trip is actually just an excuse. So yeah. everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how would the wives be feeling? But I had an, uh, I had a sort of a feeling that they would be welcoming this trip as well because they have a week of no husbands. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's and, a win-win situation uh, yeah, for both. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that was something that they look forward to as well, mm -hmm, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess it depends on like error, but like right now, it's like it would be great, you know, with mm -hmm. a week without just to yourself for mm -hmm. the women. Mm -hmm. I think would be a really good week. But mm -hmm. when you think about it, it's not completely unfair. I mean, it's That's unfair. True. Yeah, but. But probably it's a week off something. for them, probably because yeah, yeah. probably considering the fact that if it was back in the days, the women were probably doing all the yeah, laundry, especially. all the cooking, and everything. Yeah. So they would have a week Must to have just been like a relieving ah, week. You know what? I want to hear the women's side of the story uh -huh. of what they were doing that week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please create that. A that would be very different interesting. Different version, women's right, side right, of right, what right. they were doing mm -hmm. during that week. Gossiping. Mm -hmm. And party. maybe complaining maybe about the husbands yeah. a lot. Party. Maybe maybe they were drunk uh -huh. as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's fun. Oh, when you see mm -hmm. that side of the picture, To imagine, yeah. yeah. So this is Oyama Mairi. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess the idea, yeah, it, it, the, the idea that traveling was not freely, mm -hmm. done freely, was a new thing yes, for I me as well. Yes, I did not know that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. and, and the fact that you had to tie it with a religious thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then, keep, you know, they're, they're a bit lenient about how to do it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, so I, I actually learned a lot of new things today, mm. you know, because we've been doing the um, unuseful Japanese phrases yeah, for a yeah. while. So it's good to hear rakugo. I want yeah, to, oh, after it, that, maybe rakugo feels more useful than before. Yeah, <laughs> maybe not useful, but it's entertainment or yeah, entertainment kind of makes you think. And yeah, it's it's a good learning experience. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Great. That was fun. Great. So um, somewhere, somewhere I'll be performing that story. Mm -hmm. Oyama Mai, if you remember. Oyama Mairi, uh, a pilgrimage to Oyama would be the English version, or visit to Oyama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Oyama is a mountain in uh, Isehara, mm -hmm. Kanagawa. Uh, it's, it's a great view. Mm -hmm. um, the height is 1,252 meters. Mm -hmm. Fairly high, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a great view. I mean, it's, it's a bit tiring when you go in the hot weather. Mm -hmm. And you said, I think you were explaining last time in the mm -hmm. last episode, you were climbing it but you didn't really climb it you kind of like rode I, uh, the train or yeah cable car the cable car <laughs> I, I climbed uh, the cable uh -huh. car uh-huh so <laughs> you set the cable car and you let right. that do the work yeah yeah so it's a it's a pleasant pleasant trip mm, place yeah. to go for summer maybe yep 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 yep, yep. Mm -hmm. so have fun mm -hmm. <laughs> if, you, if you go to Oyama see you in autumn uh -huh. yeah yeah see you in Oyama maybe uh -huh. yeah all right I'll be visiting that place a lot okay, okay. see you mata Tokyo.